The election of 1876 was one of the most contentious presidential elections in United States history. The candidates, Republican Governor Rutherford B. Hayes and Democrat Governor Samuel J. Tilden. In the end, Hayes won with a single electoral vote. He finished with 185. Tilden had 184. Tilden actually won the popular vote, carrying 50.9% versus Hayes 47.9%. There have only been five times in United States history when the victor didn't have a plurality of the popular vote. This was the second time. It is also the only time in which the loser carried more than 50% of the popular vote. In all other cases, even if the loser won a majority of the vote, they didn't get over 50%. Usually, a significant amount of the popular vote is split among third-party candidates. For example, in the election of 1824, which was won by John Quincy Adams, Andrew Jackson won the popular vote with 42% and Adams having 31%. Both Henry Clay and William Crawford managed 13% each. In the 2016 election, won by Republican Donald Trump, Democrat Hillary Clinton carried 48% of the popular vote to Donald Trump's 46%. Libertarian Gary Johnson had 3% and 1% went to Jill Stein of the Green Party. Tilden's lead in the popular vote was by 200,000. It's not disputed that he won. However, there are still unresolved questions of election fraud and violence. It's suspected that black Southerners voting for Hayes had their votes suppressed. But the main contention was in the electoral votes. Early counts showed Tilden with 184 and Hayes with 165 and 20 more unresolved. These unresolved votes were split among four states and would decide the election. Democrats and Republicans both argued that their candidate had won all four. In the case of the Republicans, a decisive victory here was essential. To win the election, Hayes would need each of the 20 unresolved points. An electoral commission was established. It consisted of men from the Senate, the House, and the Supreme Court, seven Democrats and eight Republicans. Hayes was eventually declared the victor in all four states. He won these states by extremely small margins. For instance, in South Carolina, he won by a little shy of 900 votes. These kinds of margins would only be surpassed more than 100 years later in the election of 2000. Democrats felt cheated. Threats were made against Hayes. A shot was even fired at his house while he was inside. Fearing the violence would only increase, Republican President Ulysses S. Grant even increased the military presence in Washington. With violence already in the streets, a constitutional crisis exploded. Politicians argued about the discrepancy in votes and what was the most constitutional way to settle the matter. Many Southern Democrats feared a Hayes presidency. Since his youth, Hayes was known as a devout abolitionist. As a lawyer, he defended runaway slaves, and his opposition to slavery was a driving force during his time as a Union soldier in the Civil War. It was all the worse if he had cheated his way to the presidency. Therefore, the Compromise of 1877 was arranged. It was designed to appease Southern Democrats so that they would accept Hayes as president. Among the terms of the Compromise was the removal of Union troops occupying Southern states, the appointment of a Democrat to Hayes' cabinet, and to provide aid to Southern states to restore their economy in light of the Civil War. The exact details of the Compromise remain murky, as it's considered a backroom deal. But it served its purpose. On March 4, 1877, Rutherford B. Hayes was inaugurated as the 19th President of the United States. To this day, however, the true results of the election are debated. Compromises with enemies would become part of the Hayes administration. While some see this as a betrayal of black voters and leniency towards the South, others suggest that Hayes did his best to manage the divided political parties. A second election may have been contentious for Hayes, but it's something he never had to worry about. He had promised to serve a single term and not to run for re-election, a promise which he kept. 
Despite Rutherford B. Hayes being relatively forgotten in the public consciousness, his election remains to this day one of the most contentious in United States history. To support regular uploads from this channel, consider subscribing and donating to Resyndicated on Patreon. Donations from two to fifteen dollars a month help towards more frequent uploads. Patreon link in the description below.